Take a moment and think. When was the last time you used an antibiotic? Have you ever thought about where it came from, who made it, or what collaborations took place? I'm sure you've all heard of Alexander Fleming, famous for being the pioneer behind penicillin. But penicillin would not have saved the lives of over 100 million people in the last century were it not for extensive collaboration between teams of people across the globe, such as Florian Chain. Breakthroughs like these are the product of a shared effort, never alone endeavor. The fundamental idea of a universal endeavor was the key theme at this year's London International Youth Science Forum, a two-week experience funded by the British Council in which 450 like-minded young scientists from 65 different countries came together at Imperial College London to visit various scientific institutions and hear from world-leading experts. With participants from a diverse range of cultures, there was a wide variety of perspectives on the topics that were debated and discussed. We realized that for each and every one of us, our past experiences and backgrounds give us unique opinions and different approaches to solving problems. And it is this individuality that is vital to the success of international and multidisciplinary science. The experience allowed us to see the groundbreaking science going on in the world today. This included the Rosetta Space Mission, in which a satellite used the gravitational pull from several planets in order to make an 11-year trip to the comet 67P, two years of which were used to study the comet's composition. During the journey, the satellite entered deep space, where it had to preserve its fuel supply, and so it shut down, with no communication being made with Earth for close to four years. Its reawakening relied solely on a simple alarm clock and sparked celebrations from the international team of scientists working at the Mission Operations Center in Darmstadt, Germany. Large-scale scientific projects like this, while on the one hand are so impressive, also raise many questions about the forum. For example, whether the 1.4 billion euros spent on the project would not have been better used to sending two and a half million Kenyan teenagers to school. That's close to half the Kenyan teenage population. We came to the conclusion that projects must be evaluated individually based on their scientific benefits. A poignant question discussed at LIYSF was whether large-scale science, such as the Rosetta mission, or small science was more important. But the forum demonstrated to us just how important collaboration between the two really is. A key example of this can be seen in the work of Swiss physician Friedrich Mecher in 1869. He discovered a microscopic substance in the pus of discarded war bandages, what we now know to be DNA. This chance discovery formed the basis of the Human Genomes Project, a program costing $2.7 million and stretching over 20 countries. So, in the last few years, we've managed to develop some incredible medicines, land on a comet, and sequence the entire human genome as a result of the coming together of some of the world's greatest minds. So just take another moment and think. If through collaboration, such amazing scientific achievements can be accomplished, why is it that we cannot collaborate effectively to solve problems like this? Thank you for listening. Thank you.